someone to be like, hey, I like this band. I'm gonna look them up. Yeah, and don't get me wrong. I mean, especially like with YouTube, they're they're totally good with that. They don't mind mm-hmm. so much you using the music. It's when you start monetizing that that becomes an issue. Because like, if I wanted, if I had like a really cool, let's say, clip show of all of us, you know, I don't know, playing a game of water uh, up tag, something stupid. And then I'm playing the soundtrack in the background, and I don't monetize it. Well, they're less likely to strike that, or put a strike on it, mm-hmm. than they are to. Um, they're, they're not going to put a strike on it as much as if I tried to monetize it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and that's the problem. Is you did something creatively, mm-hmm. and it's 100% your content aside from the song, mm-hmm. and the song just fit, mm-hmm. and. These people, instead of saying, hey, look at what they did, that song really fits, they're looking at, hey, they're making money off something I did. They didn't look at anything you did. Mm -hmm. They're just looking at what they did. Yeah, you're right. And and that's where where I think it gives... It it just puts a damper on things. It's all money, man. It's all money. Which is why everyone should watch Why Did Ask For. You can get millions and millions of views. And, uh. <laughs> no, man. I mean, I, I'm not saying that, you know, it's wrong to want to make money, but, yeah, there's got to be a line in there somewhere. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, there's this rule that if a composer has passed away and it's been over 70 years or something like that, you can use your uh, music in the public domain and it's not an issue. But, like, the stupidest instance of something like this is that until recently um happy birthday wasn't public domain you actually had yeah. to license to use happy birthday and it's such a common song and it's such a common thing to people everybody sings happy birthday i mean and it's yeah like, how can you how can you do that yeah and, and i i just think my opinion if you become a recording artist let's see this is probably gonna ruin all my chances with Selena Gomez right here but if you become a recording artist once you record the song and someone pays you for that song someone buys the CD or someone pays for the download Mm -hmm. it's their song you are the singer of their song they've transferred money for ownership so they could do whatever the hell they want with it because where you're going to make your real money is at your concerts with your merchandise true uh paid appearances so it's it's kind of one of those things where you know no. i have this problem paying someone money to listen to something that i can not turn around and s- morph like i'm not going to buy it then sell it it's I'm not going to buy the song and be like, oh, look, it's my song. Pay me for it. No, but I'm going to use it to help me create something. No, I, I agree with you completely. And, you know, you just have people where it's like, well, it's my song. Well, I gave you money for that song, and if you're going to sue me, give me back my fucking money, and I'll take down the video. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I it, it's such a it's such a tricky subject, and it really didn't become such an issue until YouTube started. And it, it's like one of the one of the stories I always remember was this one guy who's making these online videos, and I loved his videos. I mean, they're they're awesome, and he still makes videos today. But back then, he made this uh, comedy show where he would use like soundtrack music from Curvy and. <laughs> your enthusiasm yeah he would use uh like whenever he'd do the dramatic parts he'd use like maybe music from batman Mm -hmm. from uh, batman begins and it was and it was hilarious it fit so well and all that and uh everybody really liked his work so he went to a film festival and as the credits were rolling he was all that music was playing that he had and one of the top dogs in the music festival went up to him and said wow you must be you must be rich you must be like wealthy and he goes why he goes you have all that music in there. I can't believe you paid the license for all that that music. And that's when it hit him that oh crap, you know I'm using their prop their intellectual property to enhance my my work. <coughs> and, and, and in that case, I can kind of see where it makes sense that 
they don't want you to just <coughs> say, okay, well, you already made your thing. Now it's mine, and I should be able to do whatever I want with it. I people can abuse that very greatly. I disagree with you, because I see it more not like, oh, look at how much money he has, because he paid all those licenses. I see it more like EA. EA didn't make Ghostbusters, did it? Because at this point, it's going to really drive it home. So EA is going to sell you a game. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to play that game, and you're going to enjoy it, and then you're going to say, hey, same game. We're selling you DLC. You want this new gun? You want this? You want that? Pay us more money. Pay us more money. Pay us more money. And it's the most bullshit annoying thing on earth. And that's what it seems like they're doing with these with music is... Or n not even just with music, with scenes from a show or something like that is... Hey, we made this for your entertainment. Oh, you want to use it to do something you find entertaining, a hobby? Give us money. Yeah. <clears throat> no, and that that's... You know, that's where the whole gray area is right now. And who knows where the future of copyright law and trademark and fair use is going to head. Because that that's kind of what the name of the game is right now in terms of any online content. Luckily, mm -hmm. there is like a... You know, there are ways to say that, you know... Like, for instance, you and I are technically... Uh, reviewing Ghostbusters. We're playing the game throughout it and having a good time. And We're playing the game throughout, having a good time, and yeah. bashing the new movie. And no, <laughs> I, I am not bashing the new movie. I want to watch it before I completely... That's, I where I disagree where, that's where I disagree with uh, James Rolfe and Dan is that I want to see it before I make a thing out. But no, they, they've, they've already lost me. I mean, just from what I've seen in the previews, it doesn't look like something I would ever enjoy. Well, I mean, like I was telling Dan, I consider this video game to be the third movie. So, I feel yeah. like the Ghostbusters trilogy is complete. Now I'm going to give a new thought. But, just to finish my point on the copyright thing, it, um, it's really about, like, what can you do to enhance the product in a way that's beneficial to the product, and also still make, you know, a creative endeavor in yourself. And I think that's where everybody's trying to draw the line. It's like, yeah. I'm trying to make, take your product and show you how we can enhance it to something better, as opposed to, oh, look at me, I'm, I'm using your game to make money. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, you know, it, it's just... It's a, it's a weird gray area. This sentence is not going to make it out of my mouth. Um, it, it's just the way I see it is people are looking at it, and it's... Probably lawyers and not so much the artist or business managers or someone that just wants to make more money. Mm -hmm. They're looking at it as, hey, we could somehow get paid for this because we did the original work. Well, yeah, you made the song or you did the video game yeah. or, or s I don't know, but did you record the video of the guy swinging or playing dodgeball or tag or whatever the video happens to be did you do do that did you edit it in did you think hey this song would be perfect for a dodgeball video right no you didn't you didn't do a majority of the work for that piece you wrote the song but for a different use for a different reason you wrote the song for an album, for a tour. So you're what you intended to make money off of with that song is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Someone found a way to do it differently. Well, I think And that instead of seeing it like, "Hey, bully to you, you did it." It's like, "What? They're stealing my hard work." No. Because that's what your intended purpose was, was to entertain. And you're helping someone to entertain, and their intended purpose is to entertain. And it's once it all goes to your intended purpose is making money, well, then you got to get out of the game. Yeah, I agree. If, if you're getting into anything creative for money solely, you're going to be disappointed very quickly. You hear that, Fallout Boy? <laughs> <laughs> it was like that one Alf quote, God rest his soul. 
that um, uh, he said some people make mistakes and they only do things for money and for greed and for selfish reasons. And he goes, oh, well, that explains Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I love Ghostbusters 2, but I, it, it, it brings home the point that even that movie, which I consider to be a great movie as compared to some of the other stuff that's come out recently. But um, that people, you know, they... I don't know, they don't do it because of the, the creative process itself. I'm sure a lot of people are excited to work on, uh, like, a Ghostbusters project, but if your heart's not in it and you're doing it for the money, then it's going to show in the product. It's going to show in the thing you're creating, and well, it's going it, it to just sh- It just shows in your general, in, y- in your life in general. Yeah. You know, um, I used to really like Metallica. Like, I thought they were a great band. I mean, they have a lot of talent. But I used to, like, really like them. Yeah. And uh, then they started all this stuff with Napster, and I was just like, man, you guys are dicks. Well, yeah, they got a little and, bit too, too much money. And that is what I think of now whenever I think of them, is you're dicks. Yeah. And... It, it'll probably never go away I mean I don't listen to them anymore and it's all because of how they treated their fans because they let the money take over yeah and once we start doing that we'll lose fans but hopefully we'll have as many fans as Metallica does you know what my, my philosophy behind about playing like doing Let's Plays doing podcasts and all that is I always think of when I was in college and uh, for a very for what all that two minutes? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> please. Um, and I would have to wait like in like the rest area, and I didn't really feel like going and talking with like other people, and I didn't feel like socializing. I didn't. I, I'm not a I'm not a good like friend maker. Like I have my core group of friends, which are awesome. And, and isn't then, it hard I'm, to make new ones? It is, and I'm a very friendly person. Like, yeah, I'm friendly. But I don't, um, there's something here that I'm not seeing. Okay. And, but I like being on my own, because either I'm reading a book, or I'm, you know, watching something, or I'm watching a YouTube video about a 12-year-old helping me figure out how to work Adobe Illustrator, which makes me feel completely retarded. That statement could have been taken way out of context. Let's not, let's <laughs> not, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that little kids are a lot smarter than I am. Yes. And, um... Uh, basically, I just I wanted people to hang out with and and enjoyed what like I enjoyed you know talking about video games and, and doing stuff and I thought how cool would it be if there was a podcast that it's almost like you're just hanging out with your friends and talking and and now we got two of them and now we got two of them <laughs> one of them hasn't recorded in <laughs> God knows how long yeah but I mean th- with good reason with good reason uh, Brandon needs his attention to be 100 percent on his wedding and I am not going to even begin to try to compete with that. That's not yeah, right. I remember what it was like trying to get the year even of getting married and it's impossible. I show up, shit is hitting the fan. <laughs> should show up to the wedding wearing white. <laughs> Just your entire tux should be white. 